Welcome back. So in between episodes, I got my roof on. And on the end, I just put in a solid wall there so that I like the contrast between the birch and the dark, uh, dark or deep slate, not dark slate, deep slate, kind of a high end, low end there. The only bigger contrast would be if I uh, like had white concrete. And I put these uh, slabs around the edge just to give it some depth and profile because it was really flat there. So I need to break something up. Plus, I was getting snow on my front porch here, so this covers it up. But the side, of, uh, side effect, I guess, of that is this: these would get snow on them. So I fixed that by putting pressure plates, these birch pressure plates. And that kind of still ties everything in. Gives it a nice little line on top there so it's not all black. And you can, you can see them really well from up here. But once you get down here, you just sort of see this kind of a different light uh, line up there. Almost like it uh, like pencils in the area. And then that goes all the way around. So I think I like the profile of this. I think this came out rather nice. Nothing done down here, but up here I boxed off an area for the bathroom so we can have our tub and shower over there, the loo, the sink, and then over here would be where the bed and stuff are. And then out here we have our balcony. So I thought in the balcony we would, you know, do like something like this. And then. We're going to push this up all the way there. And then I do need a cover on there because I'm going to get snow on this. So let me. Yeah, already, already I'm going to get snow. So I think what I'm going to do is put the string here. And I do need, I guess I could do this. It's not I'm trying to, there. Actually, let's do this. And then on top of the string, I'm going to put carpet. So we'll have a, uh, there we go. We'll have a, an awning over the top, over this uh, deck. That way we won't get any snow down below. I'm just trying to see. It's really hard to see that string. And then maybe. Yeah, like that. I yeah, so the carpet shouldn't get any snow on it. Oh! Don't oh. sound like Coleman Simpson. Let's do. There. And there. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's a little dark. I think I want to put a lantern. Sometimes it's good to do the building in the dark because you can see how dark it actually is. And I think just a lantern up here would really improve things. I think maybe another one. Oh, I don't have one over here. Of course, it doesn't stick out. I think, yeah, I think that's fine. 
And then for the front porch, at least there's no snow here anymore. So that. And then I think let's. Maybe replace that there so I can put a light there. And then I'm going to need to go back up. Well, where's my, there we go, lost my pressure plate, there and there, okay. You hear that noise, I just picture crabs clicking their little claws. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I forgot. And I did find this out before. Snow can travel through carpet. So it doesn't even see those blocks for some reason. So I'm going to get snow accumulation on here. So I'm going to have to come up with a different plan. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go with trap doors. That's a shame. Because I, I kind of like the carpet better. But yeah, you see, I've already got snow accumulating on there. Dang it. That's, that's a disappointment. That's disappointing. I decided instead of putting an awning over the balcony, I'm just going to cover the balcony with carpet. That'll keep the snow out of here. And then we'll put a couple doors. So then we got the balcony going in and out. Um, let's just put a, oops, that's, that's not a light. Let's put a light here and a light there. So that should keep everything nice and bright. And I think I'll put a plant in the corner. So this will be the bedroom. With our bed. Couple matching uh, end tables. Then we have our bathroom. Uh, let's see, can I do that? Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, I put the the slabs are right where I need them, so I can actually hang something from them. Comes in handy. This is a tighter, tighter bathroom than I like, but this is all I've, all I've got room for up here. Cause I, I guess I could have made it wider, but you know, I'm as far back as I can get against the wall there. That's good. And then we put a door in here. I do need to get the faucets and stuff hooked up. Let's put in, yeah, we'll put it in. Okay. So we have our cozy i'm gonna call it a cozy we have a cozy cozy shower here i just need to figure out something for the enclosure here and i do need to put more furnishings up here and then if we go down below like for the kitchen let's grab these On the light, so if I put a light over the counter here, I can't, yeah, see, that's where I'm having the problems. I can't put a light there because of the, uh, the way the blocks are. But I can put that there and maybe, yeah, like a double sink. Uh, here. Put a 
furnace that that does kind of block that does kind of block that that still blocks it maybe like like that and then maybe another I'm gonna put these in here and actually let's put these like that Yeah, there we go. There. That's looking like a looking like a kitchen. So now I just need to get some furnishings for the uh, living room and Put a little uh, kind of a table over here in this corner. The one thing I need to do on the balcony is put some supports underneath it because it looks like it's just floating in the air and I don't like that. Let's see. So if I go like here here Oops, that's not oh that doesn't line up like I thought it would yeah and then maybe yeah I'm gonna need a solid a solid block there. Maybe like that. Yeah, the chisel will work. So if I pop that out and put in, let's see, I'll put the chiseled in there. 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 Much better. Yeah, now it looks like it has some kind of support and it's not just floating, floating in the air. So let's see, I think. Here, just wanted to put a shower, uh, kind of like an enclosure. You have a faucet, so you have your shower there. And then over here, Another faucet, so that takes care. Ooh, that's not going to work. Let me actually do this too. Yeah, I need glass in that window. Okay, bathroom is done. I'm going to say bathroom is done right there. Now in this corner. A big pot. With a uh, flower. And I'm putting a cherry. Uh, cherry sapling there. Just to brighten it up. 
I think the pink makes it look nicer. And then, oh, I thought. I'm pretty sure I picked up signs. Now, where did I put those? Hmm. Got the chest, but I'm out of... Where'd my sign go? I was going to put a sign right there. But I think I can do... Oh, yeah, I can. I didn't know. I wasn't quite positive I could do that. So we'll put a chest of drawers there. Have a plant. Let's actually, let's, uh, there we go. Put that there, and then I need a light. Where'd my light go? First I lose my signs, then I lose my light. The signs aren't in here either, so I have no idea where I put them. I could have sworn I, I specifically got a stack of signs. Okay, I think that'll do it for the bedroom. That looks, yeah, I think that looks okay. So all we need to do is finish this up here. I think part of that's going to be... Well, let's start with this. So we're going to put a, let's put a light here because this will be a table. Well, that means, yeah, I can get rid of these. Uh, there we go. Got kind of a red theme going on for some of this. But there. So we have our dining table, our kitchen. I can't put in any faucets here because uh, I don't think these, yeah, they don't stick the glass. They'll do there. That'll work. And then over here we have our couch. This is kind of where I was going to put in a sign, but I think I can do those. And maybe put the fern there and the spruce here. So that makes it kind of a cozy, cozy little place. I don't really have any room for paintings unless I put one like over here. And then maybe another one over there. I don't want those guys again. I guess that'll work. So aside from water in the sinks, I think we're done. Okay, so this interior is done. What we need to do now is work on the exterior. Oh, and it's dark. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Hope you're having a good week. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.